iOS 18.3 Beta 2. Do it immediately after your update. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into the iOS 18.3 Beta 2. Yes, Apple just released it and I updated my phone immediately to give you all the details about it. From cool new features to important fixes, here is everything you need to know. Now without further ado, let's get started. So first up, a highly requested change is here. Apple has restored the repeated calculation features in the calculator app. For example, you can now hit the equal button repeatedly for consecutive operations or small chains, but it's super handy, right? Now with this, let's head to the other features. That is updated image playground app. Yes, Apple also gave the image playground app a little makeover with a slick customized icon. It seems to be aesthetic upgrades for the win, right? Now let's talk about the bug fixes. Apple addressed several issues in this beta. And here is a quick rundown. The writing tools API now works seamlessly. Fixing issues with the third party apps. If you have a problem with personalized Genmojis not generating correctly, that's resolved too. These fixes might seem minor, but will make a big difference in everyday use. And at last, there is a neat little tweak. You can now log in the feedback app using Face ID or Touch ID. There is no requirement for typing in your password every time you enter the app. How cool is that? So after seeing this, should you install iOS 18.3 Beta 2? If you are already on the beta program, it's no brainer. The new feature and fixes make it solid update but if you are on the stable release remember this is a beta so you might run into the few bugs consider installing it on a secondary device so if you want to explore these updates early that's everything new in ios 18.3 beta 2 and with this i hope this clear things up for you if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to get updated for more videos Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.